Well, come on. Tall, short, fat, thin. What do you remember? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think. That's a start. What about an accent? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Immigrants, I bet. We let them into our country, and how do they repay us? Robbing us blind. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, not everyone's as racist in their thinking as your granddad, are they? What are you doing, eh? Your mum thought we could lend a hand. She's over at the minute mark buying some bleach. You know how she likes to busy herself. Uh, does she always have to interfere, though? She's just looking out for you, mm. that's all. Well, you're going to stay and help? It was your idea, after all. Ah, uh, you were right. Y your cousin could do with some help in his salon. Mm. I'd better go and all, assuming Dot ain't giving me the sack. You're not helping, old man. Go on, jog on. Well, hopefully that's one less thing for Sharon to worry about. And again, if I was her, I'd think about giving the place the once over. Enough of that stuff looks like it's come from a jumble sale. And don't even get me started on the plastic stacks. Johnny! Maybe he's not back yet. Well, I'll call his mobile. Just leave him, will you? Oh, I've told you a million times, please, let the boy grow up. Yeah, I'm trying. If he wants to front this out, it's his choice. It's not ours, OK? Do you need a hand with anything? You, uh, you can make a start on those empties. Any news of an arrest? Oh, they'll be long gone, I expect. You should wonder if Phil Mitchell's got a price on his head. Oh, it's all right, mate. Something you want to say? Hello. Ah, I want to hear what Cora's got to say. I just can't think why anyone would want to hurt Sharon. I see. Where is Phil? He ain't exactly known for his philanthropic endeavours, is he? Oh, Johnny was there, weren't you? Do you have to keep dragging this up? The boy saw nothing. Yeah, I still don't get it. You say he was cashing up and couldn't hear nothing. That's right. We saw all that broken glass. I mean, what is he, stone deaf or something? Well, either that or... Yeah, he wouldn't have left Sharon on her own, right? The thing is... No, 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 it's all right, Johnny, I've got this. So he hid upstairs out of arm's way. And do you know why? Because he's got his head screwed on, that's why. If he'd gone charging in, who, who'd have raised the alarm, eh? Who'd have called the ambulance? Who'd have waited with Sharon until the police arrived? So he didn't go in there all guns blazing, and I, for one, am glad he didn't, because it wouldn't just be Sharon lying in that intensive care unit. So if any of you lot have got anything you want to say in the future, you can say it to me, all right? Johnny? You just can't help yourself, can you? What are you talking about? I can speak for myself. I don't need you to do it for me. What did I say to you? 